If you've been ghosted, it's a clear cut sign that that guy is not cool and you should have absolutely no time for him in your life. I think it can be a good idea or a bad idea and I think it depends on how the relationship ended and I think it depends on the quality of the person. So I have like ex-boyfriends that I'm still really, really good friends with and it's fine because we broke up, you know, we fell out of love um, and they were great people and there's kind of no animosity there or anything negative. But I also have an ex who I would never speak to again out of choice. Um, who I would actively ignore or throw a shoe at if I saw because he treated me really, really badly and if he'd tried to, tried to stay friends with me or vice versa that kind of would have continued and persisted and been really bad for me. I think it depends on how the relationship ended and how good the person was. I think it's perfectly fine to date around but I think you have to be honest and upfront about it so you have to say, look, until we're exclusive um, I'm, I'm really just going to keep keep my Tinder profile up or you know keep dating these other two guys that I kind of want to give a fair chance to but I think that you have to be upfront and honest right from the off um, and if ever anybody's not okay with it then obviously you have an ultimatum. Honestly this is such a cliche answer and everyone will roll their eyes but I promise you if you do it it works really well. If you just tell your partner a fantasy that you have and I think that gets their mind worrying especially if you haven't talked about it before gets them thinking and vice versa, um, I think it's a pretty foolproof way to light that spark up again. And if you have to do it every few weeks or every few months, then I'm just gonna tick off all your sexual fantasy boxes en route. I think jealousy is a really good sign, if I'm honest, in a relationship. I think it shows that people are really, um, really into you. However, of course, there is a line here. You know, if you have lots of female friends or male friends and your partner doesn't like it, it's one thing that they're a bit like, sulky and jealous about it. It's a whole other thing entirely if they then try and control that situation and involve themselves in friendships or friendship groups that don't involve them. That's probably a bad sign. Um, and I would say if you are that jealous person, because I'm a super jealous person, it's fine, like you can accept it about yourself, but don't run away with it and don't let it run away with you. You gotta you got check yourself and keep, keep your relationship in check. Every relationship I've ever had, and they've all lasted between two to six years, so they've all been quite long term. I've slept with the guy within a few days or weeks of knowing him, like quite early, and it never affected anything. If anything, it just cemented the fact that we were sexually compatible. And to be honest, it's actually been a really good thing at times where those people haven't become my boyfriends because we just weren't sexually compatible at all. And thank God I found it out sooner instead of waiting for months and months and months and months. Seeing your ex with someone new is a horrible thing if you're not quite over the relationship yet. I mean, it's gut-wrenching. But I will say this, and I do have a lot of experience with this. You build it up in your head to be a lot worse than it actually is when it happens. And in fact, when it happens, you get a, an undeniable sense of closure. If you're over the ex, I mean, I always try and befriend my ex's new girlfriends. I think they think I'm completely insane. But if I like the ex and, you know, I like me, I always feel like I'd get on really well with the new girl. But um, yeah, I think it doesn't ever really go down that well on the other side of it. If you've been ghosted, and this is something my husband used to do to girls, and we've had real arguments about this. If you've been ghosted, it's a clear cut sign that that guy is not cool and you should have absolutely no time for him in your life. And you certainly shouldn't chase someone who doesn't even have the decency or respect for you to turn around and say, actually, I've met someone else or I'm not really feeling it. Uh, that is not someone you want to have a relationship with, somebody who runs at the first sign of trouble. Trust me, me and my husband have had to work very, very, very hard on this. He runs at the first sign of trouble and I'm like, no, stay here and figure it out. It's not energy that you want to expend for the next few years of your life, trust me.